it's incredible to see how green all of our Bay Area hills are right now after so many atmospheric rivers, which have also gotten us out of our drought. I spent the day with fire weather research graduate students at San Jose State University to find out what all of this rain means for the upcoming wildfire season. Grad students Maritza and Mark are loading up their fire weather lab truck and getting ready for their field research. They're a part of San Jose State's Wildfire Interdisciplinary Research Center, and they're letting me come along for the ride. We are going up to our fuel sampling site on Mount Uminum which is in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Every two Actually, weeks, yeah, you can find so. Maritza and Mark driving up these winding, bumpy roads overlooking stunning green hills. I have been doing this for quite a long time, since 2016, since I was an undergrad in, um, in university. And I'm a graduate student now, so yeah. Took a little break, but I still have done this like for a lot of years. <laughs> <laughs> An hour later, we reached the top of Mount Amanam. So right now we're going on our way to the, to the site, the Amanam site where we fuel sample. It's a lot more green. There's a lot more plants <laughs> around. Maritza and Mark are measuring the moisture content in these plants. Cool. The more moisture, the harder it will be for them to catch fire. Yeah, so there's no new growth here. Maritza and Mark are surprised they're not seeing any new vegetation since the last time they were here two weeks ago, but they expect new growth soon with more sunshine. They're especially interested in chemise and manzanita plants, which grow abundantly here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. They're taking samples of these plants, enough to fill three cans of chemise and one can of manzanita. Back at San Jose State University, they weigh the plants, then put them in the oven for 24 hours to dry them out, calculating the difference to get the moisture content. The average fuel moisture content is way higher in comparison to the last three years um, when we were looking at the graphs. Um, hopefully it stays that way, but to be determined. Last month, the moisture content in these Santa Cruz Mountain plants more than 90 to over 100%. But Maritza warns it doesn't take long for these plants to dry out quickly. If we didn't get rain for a lot of days, like if it was um, like really, really hot, like a heat wave, I would say maybe a week, it could get to dangerous levels. Because it, it would be just like the oven, kind of just baking out in the sun. That's why Maritza says even though the moisture content is good now, it doesn't necessarily mean we're safe this wildfire season. I think it could still be pretty bad even if we're not in our drought anymore. If a lot of new growth starts growing in like April and May, then um, it could all just like dry out in the coming months and that'll be a lot of uh, risk for like fight wildfires and stuff. Yeah, so the coming wild season, wildfire season may be as bad as others. It may be even worse because of the new vegetation that's been growing. So while our Bay Area hills look lush and green with so much vegetation now, they likely won't stay this way. Drying out in the heat this summer, quickly turning into highly flammable fuels, which could mean an extreme wildfire season to come.